How do you run 200 miles? You know why it's easy to, to show you here how to do it? Because I can demonstrate. This is what you do. You kind of uh, lean your upper torso forward, and then you start gesticulating your arms, and you put one foot in front of the other, and you go like this. <laughs> and that's really how you do it. <laughs> There's no mystery. I mean, the only difference in running 200 miles versus two miles, it just takes about 40 or 50 hours longer. <laughs> But it really is the same motion. Uh, but you know, that's the tongue-in-cheek answer. The, you know, the, the, the more inspectful and, and insightful answer is something that every one of you in this room can relate to. I mean, you spend hundreds upon hundreds of hours training. You dedicate yourself wholeheartedly to your goal. You commit, you sacrifice, and you come up short time and time again. But you never give up. And I think the biggest difference between those who succeed and those who don't is not differences in talent, it's that those who succeed are unwilling to give up no matter how dire the situation appears. And for any of you first time marathoners, at mile 22 or 23, it will seem dire. <laughs> and what will even seem more dire is around mile 18 or 20, there'll be spectators on the side of the course that don't run. And you'll come around a corner of mile 20 and they'll say, you, you got it. The finish is just right around the corner. I mean, you're there. And you're thinking so badly, I want to kick this person. But that's where discipline comes in handy. <laughs>